song with the words, Where have all the flowers gone? Long time passing. Where have all the flowers gone? Long time ago? And something about little girls picking flowers? Do we associate flowers with little girls picking them? I don't. My little boys used to pick my flowers for me. They would always pick. If it was just a dandelion in the grass, they'd always bring me a bouquet of flowers. So it's not just the girls that pick them. It's the boys. So I wanted to show you some flowers here that I got at um, all these. You know, I put, I got the red ones like I do every year of these, uh, oh, what's the word, whatever they're called. My gosh, what can I think of what they're called? They are called, <sighs> my goodness. I, I, I buy them every year. You know, when you're in chronic pain, you can't think. Geraniums. <laughs> and I was going to get red because my mom loves them. And every year I get red. But you know what? This year I thought, I'm going to get pink because I love pink ones. Then I got, what is this called? Um, oh, it says Adelia. Huh. This is Adelia. Interesting. I wanted to get... It's also something like this. I don't know what they're called. Guy next door, he plants 300 for his wife every year. My God, that poor guy. He's ugh. he's also the guy that throws his big branches in my yard. But um, I got some, I don't know if I put the video up. I got some soil at um, Aldi's really cheap. I don't know how much I'll be able to do this year because of my neck. Um, I'm trying to find where there's anything very pretty. That looks pretty to Oh my goodness. But um I wanna have some flowers in front. I have a shepherd I think I have two shepherd rods actually. So I was gonna put maybe the geraniums in the in the pot with the shepherd rods because I always keep my pots from ear to ear. And um and put those in the front and then um put one on the stairs. I don't know. I don't think I'm going to put... I might hang this. I don't know, because the the one my um, my son slash granddaughter got me, the cats next door, the person with the 200 cats, they're already digging in that beautiful... And it was very expensive he bought, too. Totally dug it up. So putting something on the ground isn't going to work. But I um, thought I'd show you some flowers so far. I'm not going to get a lot, because... Everything's expensive. It's unreal. But, I, you know, you got to have something you like to look at in life. My only vice is that cream cheese. I hardly eat any chocolate. I don't drink coffee. Um, <laughs> but anyhow, these are the flowers I have so far. I have some seeds. I got all these. Um, like I said, I was hoping my son would. What is going on here? Oh, sorry. Um, I was hoping my son could help me. I have these gardens that you, they're called raised gardens, but they got to be put together, and um, I doubt, I don't know, I really doubt he's going to do it. But I'll see what between Polly and I, but my neck's been so bad. I'm still waiting for the results. I don't know if I put up the thing about it. I finally got the x-rays done. Um, but... These these vlogs are going to be out of order because, I don't know, they just are. But I was going to ask, I don't know where to point. I'm not, I like in the summer when I have, you know, a lot of different flowers you can look at. But um, those of you who, who live with chronic pain, which, you know, I have the neck thing, which now seems like almost nothing. That's like after I do anything, well, it shouldn't be really hard, but like grocery shopping to me has turned to something hard. And I think the problem with that was because my vitamin D got really low and the doctor I go to now, I kept literally almost begging to, to take my vitamin D and he's like, oh no, you don't have to do it so often. It was fine, you know, six months, eight months, whatever it was. I says, I don't know, just, I, I just had a feeling, you know, and then it was finally taken. It's way, way low. And that can cause problems with bones and it could be the problem why I might have a bone spur in my neck or spurs or whatever they call them on the top of my foot. I don't know. Or maybe it's a pinched nerve. I don't know what it is, but the pain, this new neck pain, I don't know. 
it's over a month I don't remember it just all of a sudden I got this awful pain and you know at first I just like oh it's nothing because you know at least this is my thinking I'm a mom it can't be anything because I can't go anywhere I can't well I try to stay out of a hospital but you know with Polly it just it will go away it'll go kind of my mom's thinking though she didn't go to the doctors I mean I do go to doctors in normal times but I thought it would go away and it didn't it got worse and worse and shooting up my neck and ear and head and and it's not just you know having to do with grocery shopping because I haven't done it in so long now it just all of a sudden I just it was a pain and at first I thought it's just a regular pain um, you know residual from my last when I went grocery shopping but it it just it was different it is different and it's on the left side and it radiates like I say out my head and down from my neck I was gonna do a video looking showing you but now I just forgot I started doing the flowers but anyhow like where your neck like you know in the romantic movies where a man puts his hand on a woman's oh, the heating pad now got stuck in my hair where he puts his hand say well let's just say Oh, I don't know. I don't know. It's been so long since I had any romance, huh? And a romantic guy. But anyhow, let's just start with, say they put their hands on where your chin is. And then they go down where your neck is. Like, go behind your ear. Put your hand behind your ear. And then you come down the neck. And then you scoop over. This is not romantic anymore now. But scoop over down from, from behind your ear, that neck area, and over... Like, if you put your top of your fingers a little bit behind your ear, the back of your ear, and then if you have your hand, like, your pinky facing out and your thumb on your body, you can feel your clavicle in that area. And if you go down with your hand straight out, all that area, down and over to your uh, shoulder, that's the area. And it is the pain. I can't turn. If I turn my head the least, I mean, the least, the... Uh, whatever the smallest amount is it hurts it's like sharp shooting unbelievable just knock me to my knees pain and it's cracking 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 and it's only to to the left not to the right and there's no relief it is constant chronic pain like the other one my regular neck pain um you know if i do grocery shopping or i do something more physical than i usually do it goes away, I don't know, anywhere from three to seven, sometimes ten days. But this has, like, been nonstop. And the the cracking, it's just, I constantly, it, it hurts. I feel it. It almost feels like something's, like, bone on bone. But I, I don't know. I know some of you, someone has a pain pump. And anyone else who has, I don't know, I, don't, I might even have fibromyalgia. I was looking that up at one time. Um, this PA I saw, he said he thought I might have it. And I had osteopenia, I might have osteoarthritis, who knows. Because I had, years ago, another doctor I had, and they said, I kept saying, check my vitamin D, and they're going, oh, no, no, no. And then I saw the PA, and he checked it, and mine was only six, and six is very bad. And I think I did a, a video, a chit-chat about it, where they, oh, can you hear the birds? A lot of birds. Um, where they put me on a high dose to bring it up well that's what happens if you don't check your vitamin d and now you know with this thing in our world everyone's nuts for vitamin d but i've been taking it for a long time but of course if i don't have the money i don't take it which isn't good but you know paulie has to come first so i don't know if that's playing a role in it but i don't know if anyone else is living with chronic pain and i try sparingly with the motrin but it's I can't. I just can't take it. I was so sick yesterday. Actually, this whole weekend, I was sicker than a dog from that Motrin. Oh my God. I just, I can't. So I'm just suffering. Tylenol does not touch it at all. Not at all. And I only take one Motrin. I only take 200 milligrams. My son, you know, the PA there, he's like, you know, when you have something chronic like that, not chronic. Look, at first it was acute. I thought it was just acute. Because you could take 800 milligrams, like, you know, for a couple of days every six hours. I, if I did that, I would be barfing. Oh my gosh. So anyhow, that's just one, one Motrin every four to six it makes me sicker than a dog. But 
if any of you are living with chronic pain, how do you deal with it? Because I just, I can't. I just, well, I can't say I can't. I am. I have to. But um, I don't know where to go. I'm going to, well, when I get my x-ray, we'll see what that says. And then after that, I'm going to just go to orthopedics and physical therapy. I think I can go ortho first because with the cracking, I don't know, I think it's a bone thing. Could be a pinched nerve. I don't know, but you know what? I should have a doctor who knows where I should be going. But I can't wait for that. I got to take care of whatever it is. So if you guys live with chronic pain, let me know how in the world you stand it if you don't have medicine, good medicine for it. Because right now, I just, I can't. And I went to get that x-ray. I was so dizzy afterward. I had to sit in the car quite a while. And I don't know if I put the story up what happened there. I don't know. Who knows? I don't know anymore. I'm in too much pain. But anyhow, don't forget to subscribe, like, hit the notification bell, share, sharing is caring. Don't forget to pay for it. It feels good in your heart, Polly's heart, and my heart. Don't forget to call a friend, help a friend, be a friend. Check on your elderly neighbors. Do something nice for yourself and someone else. And most important, stay safe. I hope I can load this. If it takes more than a day, you won't be seeing this. Bye for now.